Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So welcome to part four of my Resident Evil 3 walkthrough guide. This is not a speed run and we are playing this on standard difficulty. So we pick up in the makeshift sick room in the hospital as Carlos picking up the assault rifle ammo before we leave the room. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. So after the radio conversation, we can pick up the first aid spray on the reception desk here and also collect some assault rifle ammo. Then go through the second set of doors here and into this waiting room here. We do have some zombies in here, which can take these guys out relatively easy. We've got a decent line of sight here, a decent amount of space to be able to kill these. However, if you do find that they get a little bit too close, you can just move backwards. You've got more than enough space behind you to be able to give yourself that extra bit of room if you need it. And we are going to make sure that these zombies are dead with the kill shot while they're laying on the floor. Another zombie will burst through the door here. We can just take her out relatively easy. This guy against the wall here, he is alive, even though he doesn't look like it. We want to kill him now to give us a bit of space when we run through this room later on. Once he's dead, just pick up the red herb from the desk there and just finish off the zombie on the floor there. I'm going to run through to the right here. Follow the corridor around to the left. And then through the door here. We've got a tape player here that we need to get a tape for. We're just going to leave the tape player there for now because we don't need it. It's just going to take up inventory space. We can pick up the green herb, however, there and combine it with the red one we just collected. So in this next room is a few zombies, but enough space for us to be able to take these guys out. Again, if you need to move back, you've got plenty of room. Don't worry about the zombie on the right in the glass doors, he won't come out at this stage, but do make sure that that zombie laying on the floor there on the right, that you kill her now. I'm just going to double check all these other zombies are dead, as you can see a lot of them aren't always dead. Now they are. Except for the stubborn guy here. And then just in front of us here is some assault rifle ammo. So this zombie on the bed here, if we was to try and get that herb in the box, she will grab you. So we just want to pump a few bullets in her head just to make sure she's dead before we collect the green herb. So now we can continue through these double doors. We're going to turn right here and go up the stairs. So just be careful going through this door on the left here. There is a zombie just through here on the floor. We want to kill him now because otherwise he will be shambling around a little bit later. It just means we ain't got to worry about him being there later on. And just continue through these double doors on the other side. Now this stage you can save. There is a safe room just along the end here to the left. A few items in this area that you can pick up, pick up the assault rifle ammo, you've got a green herb here on the desk and just around the other side here we've got some handgun bullets on top of the steps in the corner. We can now just store up any of those items we don't want, clearing up some inventory space for other items we're going to find later on and save if you need to. So back out the way we came, just on the left hand side is a map of the hospital if you need that. And now we're going to continue back the way we came, turn left. Then at the end here we're going to turn right and this broken window here with the yellow tape on it, we're just going to jump over that. Rather than jumping over there we're going to run to the right here and there is actually a tactical grip for the assault rifle here. 
equip that now and then now we can jump over this section here with the wooden planters picking up a green herb and here we've got the key that we require for a locker room through the broken window picking up the assault rifle ammo and then we can unlock the door from the back here taking us back around to the lower floor again we've just got to now run back upstairs Back through the door where we killed the zombie on the floor. Now this is where it gets exciting. We're going to run around to the right here through these double doors. There is some assault rifle ammo on this desk on the right hand side and now we can use the key to access this room here. There's nothing in the first two lockers. There is a flash grenade there, which will come in handy. And then in this very left corner locker is the ID card, which we need to access some of the doors that have that ID card lock on it. We can now get rid of the key for the locker room. We don't need that. It's a one use only key. So at this stage, we want to ready our flash grenades. We are about to meet with the memorable hunters from the first Resident Evil. Now these guys are pretty nasty. They can literally one shot you with a swipe of their claws if you're not careful. Very deadly and very fast. We literally want to ready our flash grenade while the cutscene is playing here by pressing down the right mouse button. And then as soon as the cutscene is finished there, we're just going to lob that flash grenade pump a load of bullets into the hunter while it's flashed throw a second flashbang and doing the same thing and then we're going to move around to the right here using this shelving unit and the desk as cover to be able to then just finish off the hunter Back through the double doors here. Now we can turn right here and then left. Literally going back the way we were earlier, but rather than jumping out of the window here, we're going to go into the room in front of us, taking us into the reception area here. Now there is some zombies, as you can hear, in this other room, but they're not going to burst out straight away. We're going to go into the locker first. So you want to go right nine and left three will give you the dual mags which in theory really is extended mags uh, i know they're quick reload magazines but in this they will just double your capacity now once we get to the door here to use the id card the zombies will burst out behind us we are now just going to take these guys out You've got some decent cover from the desks on the left here to be able to cover you from this zombie here. Once these guys are dead, what we want to do is go into the room where they came from originally. In here you will find some assault rifle ammo. Another zombie on the floor, which we're going to kill now. We've got a grenade, which is really important that we collect that at this stage, and then a green herb. Now we can run back to the door and use the ID card here. Now notice in the room to our right, we've got two hunters in here. Now we do need to access this room. This is where we're going to find the tape that we need. So in this next room is going to be two zombies, one straight in front of you here and then another one just round to the right of where this zombie is. Once you've made sure these are dead, we can now just collect the red herb here. 
And now we want to ready that grenade that we just picked up, opening the door here to make sure both hunters are near the door. And what we're going to want to try and do is push that door open and lob the grenade in there as quickly as we can. Sometimes you can dodge backwards and avoid getting hit by the hunters, which is ideally what you'd want to try and do. But that grenade will kill both hunters, allowing us easy access to collect the tape. We can now combine the green and red herb that we've just collected earlier on. So now in the corner here we can unlock this door from the back. Bring this back out into the corridor we can pick up some ammo. Now we want to turn left here straight away out that door because otherwise there's another hunter. We can just jump down out of that window and again go through the open window on this end bringing us back through round to the beginning again. Now we're going to turn right and these zombies now will all burst out through the window there but we're going to use the ID card to access this x-ray room. There are some items in the x-ray room like a green herb. There is going to be some handgun ammo, some assault rifle ammo but more importantly you're going to have some flash grenades and some hand grenades. Now it's up to you at this section where all these zombies are. You can use the hand grenade on them, you can save them. Ideally I should have saved the hand grenade here. Um, I wanted one hand grenade to go through there to kill all of them. Unfortunately it bounced off that first zombie. Uh, used the second one there to clear out the group. We could have just used the assault rifle. However I'm trying to store some assault rifle ammo up because we're going to need that in a little while. Some handgun bullets in the box here. Now through here on the right hand side, this is where the cassette machine is or the tape player, whatever you want to call it. Now we can combine that with the tape that we've just found and use that on the intercom to go through to the next area. Don't forget to discard the ID card, we don't need that anymore. to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, Jimmy. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? So we leave that herb, we don't really need it, but we will pick up the assault rifle ammo here. And now we can interact with the computer here. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus, and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... She only went along. And she trusted me anyway. So now the door on the right here is just opened. We can go in here and collect the vaccine, which we need for Jill. All right, we can discard the tape player now. We no longer need that. Hang tight. 
Tea? I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. So coming out into this little reception area here, Hunter will jump down. This is where we could have done with that grenade that I wasted earlier on because we could have killed it. However, this will follow you right through. It is very, very fast, so you may get hit a few times. Uh, I could maybe have used the flashbang that I had, but this stage we're just going to run back through the door here. Luckily enough, we killed a zombie on the right-hand side there, giving us enough space just to be able to run through to safety. Now we've got to do is go back into the safe room on the left hand side here which is where Jill is. Now if we interact with Jill we'll be able to administer the vaccine by clicking on it and press use. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. So we have a little bit of a battle ahead of us now, so we just want to make sure that we've got enough items in our inventory. There is a first aid spray that you can collect here. I don't think we necessarily need half this stuff though, so we're going to dump a lot of it into the storage box here. Store up the herbs, we don't need those. We don't need the first aid spray either because there is actually another first aid spray out in the area that we're going to go into now and hopefully we won't actually take in any damage. Um, I did decide actually though that we maybe should take the handgun with us because sometimes you can run out of assault rifle ammunition in this next section. So we take the handgun but there is going to be handgun ammo actually in the next area so I didn't bother taking any of that out of the box here at this stage. I'm going to try to lower the window shutters. The left entry points the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. So we can run straight forward, collect the first aid spray and ammo for the handgun and assault rifle and then pick up the detonator there. Along in these other cases are again more handgun ammo and assault rifle ammo. We can now go behind this reception desk to give us a little bit of cover and a little bit of space from these zombies. They're going to be coming through multiple windows, however we do have these power generators that we can use to stop them in their tracks, giving us a chance to be able to mow them down relatively easy. We do however need to make sure the zombies are not going near the door here because they will break down the barricade. Make sure you keep an eye on that right hand side though because the zombies will sneak through those windows if you're not careful. So here why the zombies are just climbing through the windows very slowly, we're just utilising the handgun here so we can save some of that assault rifle ammo. Now we've picked up that ammunition, we're not really going to get much more at this stage so we want to try and make it last.
Most of these zombies will die in about three headshots with the pistol, so as long as you're relatively accurate, you can take them out relatively easy. When you start getting a group of them like this, though, it is easier to use the assault rifle. Now, once the lights go off here, it means we need to find a breaker. Uh, we're going to have a hunter jump out of this room on the left, the one that was locked with the chain earlier on. What we can do now is just throw a flashbang, just to slow it down a little bit, allowing us to run past. We are just going to very quickly shoot the generator. Sometimes if that hunter's a little bit further forward, we can actually stun it with that as well. At this stage, what I wanted to do is actually pick up the grenades that are in this room. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get enough time to pick them up before these enemies got in my way. However, at this stage, we used the flashbang to give us a bit of space. Now we can lob the grenade just to finish them off. Use the first aid spray here that we picked up earlier because we did take a little bit of damage. And because of the time it's taking us in there, we're just going to finish off these zombies that are going to come through into that room so we don't get trapped. Now these guys are dead, we can run back in here, collect the hit pouch, which is going to increase our inventory by two slots, pick up the herb, the last flashbang, and now switch the switch on the wall, which will put the power back on. Almost got it. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive as long as you can. So I'm going to use a grenade here just to kill some of these more pesky zombies. We do want to save one though because we will get another hunter coming through in a little while. So here's the other hunter here. We'll just lob the grenade down there and finish it off. So once all the zombies are dead, the shutters are down, this cutscene will trigger. It will very, very quick we run around the side of this pillar here and use the detonator here. Now all we've got to do is hold out until the explosion. Hopefully you've got enough ammo left. Uh, maybe use a few flash grenades from the other room and the generators to stun the zombies in place. As you can see, it's a good job that I conserved some of my assault rifle ammo from earlier on because we, at this stage, are almost out. And kaboom! So there you go, guys. You have just made it through the hospital section as Carlos. Well done. Don't forget to watch this space for more Resident Evil 3 remake guides, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Thanks for watching. Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. 
Ballsy motherfucker. You're ready for this. Yo, who's the daddy?